Just hours ago, the two men accused of leading police on a day-long manhunt after they fled a shooting at a hospital in Boise made their first court appearance this afternoon. Thank you for joining us here on Crimson News First at Four. I'm Whitney Ward. Welcome everyone. I'm Mark Handerhan. Skyler Mead and Nicholas Umfenauer appeared before a judge in Twin Falls County after they were arrested yesterday afternoon. Both men are currently being held on a $2 million bond on a number of charges. And tonight we are learning more about how they're allegedly connected to two murders in North Central Idaho. Idaho State Police say after that shooting at the St. Alphonsus early Wednesday morning, the men headed north to Julieta, where ISP says they encountered this man, 83-year-old James Monty, and his dogs. He, they say he was taken in his Chrysler Pacifica and then driven east. Officers say they do not believe that Monty knew the suspects at all. That same day, ISP and the Clearwater County Sheriff's Office started investigating the death of another man, 72-year-old Gerald Don Henderson, at his home in a secluded area outside of Orofino. It was there, they say, that Monty's dogs and a pair of shackles were left behind, believed to be from Meade, where they were found. Detectives believe that Henderson may have been acquainted with the suspects in that case. Monty's dogs were not heard. They were taken back to the family. The suspects have not been charged in either homicide yet. Tonight, Meade is facing felony escape charges, while Umfenauer is facing three counts of aggravated battery on law enforcement officers, use of a firearm during a felony, and aiding and abetting escape by felony. Ellen. We also learned at the third suspected or rather we also learned of a third suspect who helped them evade police. Now a third person, as he said, identified today is this woman, 52 year old Tanya Huber. She was also arrested yesterday. She's now charged with harboring a fugitive, eluding and possession and is being held on a $500,000 bond.